What is going on, my exotic animal people? This is insane. For those of you that are new here to my channel, my name is Blake from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. In South Florida, it does not get as cold as some people think it does here, but when it's clear, beautiful skies like this, there's no clouds, it gets cold in early morning sometimes, and when it drops below six degrees here on the ranch, we have to take very big precautions because we have many tortoises and turtles here that cannot withstand the cold temperatures. Normally what we do here on the ranch is I had everything situated and ready to go every year when it gets cold here on the ranch. But we had a very bad accident here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and we had a lightning strike. And because of that, I lost all my equipment and lights and light bulbs and everything from the fire. So I had to go back and purchase many more things for the tortoises, for the turtles and everything. And as you guys can see, I have brand new uh, light features, all different kinds of things. And this is literally nothing. This is nothing. I've had, I had hundreds of bulbs and stuff to go but I lost them all. Many of the species here I have on the ranch are from South America and Africa and they cannot withstand 60, under 60 degree weather. So I have to make sure I have light bulbs and different things all around the property. So like, for instance, right here, I have African species, Socato tortoises, and when it drops under 60 degrees, they don't do well, they might get sick. So I have to make sure I put the light bulbs and heating things in each one of their enclosures for when it gets cold. I have leopard tortoises over there, the same exact thing. And over there, I have redfoots and South American tortoises from yellowfoots, wood turtles, and things of that sort that cannot get cold. So they have to have light bulbs or heating pads. The reason why I'm using light bulbs is because if I use heating pads, heating pads are very hard to tell if it's hot or cold. I have to go around with a heat gun to make sure everything is on. With heating lamps, light bulbs, I could go around from a farther distance and see if they're on or off. And I know what wattage I have on each light bulb, so I'm gonna know the temperature for each one. And that's why I like to use light bulbs a lot better. They do break a lot, but that's just a little bit more maintenance, but that's okay. But that's the reason why I like to use them is because I'm able to see from a farther distance and it looks like Christmas in my backyard with all the lights all around each enclosure. Normally where I would put a heat lamp, heat lamps are in each enclosure. So like in this enclosure right here, what I'll do is I'll put one to two to three different heat bulbs in here. Around 125 to 200 watt heat lamps in here, a red color, so it's for nighttime. And they'll all go inside of here. And what I'll do is I'll put refrigerator pads right here so all the heat stays up inside of there and they'll stay warm and then for this one over here if you guys are new to my channel you guys know i just made this enclosure i never had heat lamps on here yet so that's what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna show exactly what i'm gonna do here right inside of here right inside of here i have this black piece right here i'm gonna drill a hole here and a drill a hole here and i'm gonna have the heat lamps hanging right here and i can close the door when it gets real cold and it'll be perfect and nice and warm in here i can check them in the middle of the night with a heat gun and if it's around 80 degrees, I'm happy, I'm good, it'll stay warm, I don't have to worry about anything with the cold outside here in South Florida. And then once the sun comes out, open them up, if they would like to go out, they're ready to go and they can get that nice Florida sun. One of the female leopard tortoises right here that I have, that I got donated to me. She's doing awesome, doing very good here on the ranch. Hopefully we're able to have some offspring here for you guys. Normally, I connect all the power, everything to my barn. As you guys see, we don't have a barn. So I'm gonna have to wait until we get a barn for right now. What I'm doing, I'm gonna run wires, electricity, going down around the post, all the way towards the house or my dog house and run that to there because we don't have any power in the back part of my property. So that's a problem also. So I'm gonna have to go out and buy a bunch of extension cords and things of that sort. Lost all the extension cords. I lost everything. Everything I had, my equipment, everything I had was burnt in the fire because it was put away because it was summertime. It wasn't winter. It wasn't all outside being used. So that's a problem also. So I have to go out and purchase everything again see what I had, redo everything. It's making my head go crazy. All right, we are inside my red foot breeding tortoise enclosure. And in here, we have this structure right here, this house. And this is a very old house. This is around a seven year old house. I'm gonna have to redo this very soon. But as you guys can see, I have these um, refrigerator pads right here and that helps keep the heat in. These are all bent up from the sun, but I'm gonna have to get rid of new ones. But that's all right, this will last for this year. I'll just put a bunch of hay in there to keep them warm. And then on top of that, what I do is I'll lift this up real quick. This is my little piece of wood. Put that right there. There you go. And you guys look down. We have these heat lamps. These I didn't lose in the fire. I have these little eye hooks right here. You can connect those to there. I put around two of them inside of here. 
and then it keeps them nice and warm. I lock them up when it drops around 60 degrees. I go around every single one of these closures once it gets around dusk, so around six to seven o'clock, count every single tortoise, put every single one of them inside, lock them up, and make sure that they're all good and safe for the night because it gets cold. If it's a rainy day, they stay in for the whole day. If it's hot out and the sun comes out, they get opened up and they're able to come out because during the day, it does go back up around 10 degrees most of the time. There's only like two to three times out of the whole year that it's just so cold that they stay in for a few days. <laughs> Another big problem here on the ranch is that the fences here are going very bad, as you guys can see. Everything's just getting destroyed. It's just normal maintenance here on the ranch, and I have to go out and purchase a lot more things. The cow, Moors, has busted all the fences. Moors is a very strong animal, and because she likes to scratch and scratch her back on the fences, she just pushes the fencing back and forth. So in the next week or two, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot new fencing here on the ranch and I'm going bigger and higher because down in the future, we're Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And I have a few exotic animals as in tortoises, but I would love to get more exotic hoof stock more in the future. So the laws here in Florida have me doing bigger fencing, not four foot fencing. So it has to be six to eight foot fencings. So that's what we're gonna be doing here on the ranch. So upcoming videos, like I've said, make sure you always have your post notifications on because there's a lot of crazy things that are going to be happening here coming up. I've been working a lot at home and just do all different kinds of things. So I'm getting more money and I'm able to purchase more things. Barn is coming soon. I promise you guys. I just have to talk to a few more people and then I'm placing that order for that. And today, literally in this video right now, when you guys watch this video, I just bought about 100 to 150 posts, 8 foot posts to put on the ranch dividing things up. This is literally going to be an update video showing you guys all the things that are going on and yeah i'm pretty stressed out about everything it's just it's not stressful it's part of the ranch this is what i would love to enjoy it's just i do almost everything by myself so it's just like yeah it was one of those chillier nights here on the ranch and the reason why i knew that was obviously it was cold this morning but the tortoises now are walking around moving around looking for food and i have a bunch of produce for them today they all need to get refilled water so i can show you guys all that right now and the reason why i know that they're ready to get fed and they're moving around now because they're all warmed up from the sun they get all that sun more in the afternoon time it's around midday now so it's the hottest time of the day and then once you start dropping down the cool temperatures then they start calming down they go back into their houses and they're not going to eat so that's why i like to feed them now when it's the hottest time of the day when it gets cooler here on south florida All right, you guys, so we're throwing down a bunch of dandelion and stuff of that sort for the Socata tortoises. Like I said, I get all different types of produce from all around, and they get this as part of their diet. And then they also get a lot of hay and Missouri tortoise chow here on the ranch. Let's give them a little bit more. Go around and give some more stuff to people. You always have to go back and go pick up Oh, as many rubber bands as you can see, the little plastics, because all these things are just coming ready to, it's considerably bad, but it's not bad. It's like a day off of date, so it's not good for people, but for tortoises, it's perfectly fine. It's been in the fridge. You just got to collect all the little wrappers and everything you got to go around. I check four or five times every single time I throw it into the ground. I'm doing a lot of talking in this video. Just eating up a storm. They go around and pick out what they like and what they don't like. They have a very good diet too, as you guys can see. Fresh produce, just like the tortoises, all the time. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, this is going to be the end of the video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. I know we didn't do anything fun here on this video, but I've been showing you guys exactly what's going to be coming up on the ranch. And that's just the boring stuff. So make sure you guys put those post notifications on. Subscribe to my channel. God, Willie's loud. 
and i will see you guys in the upcoming video like i said we'll be posting every other day here on the ranch so stay tuned and i will see you guys soon